Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you. This is the Random Rant. Not talking about anything in particular. Uh, to, not today, but I got some more topics coming up. But uh, right now, this is a Random Rant. Uh, if you check, um, what video was that? I uh, can't remember. It, it was about uh, a few days ago. Um, on one of my videos, I said that uh, I was a little upset and I had something that um, I was going to talk about, but I said I didn't want to talk about it just then. Um, oh, I can't think of what video that was. Let me check it on my phone. Hold on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on my channel and check it right quick. I can't remember what video it was. Hold on just a second. I'm checking it on my phone. I'm checking my channel out. I can't remember which video it was. I'm just irritated and frustrated at the same time. You ever been irritated and frustrated at the same time? It just it, it, it pissed. Pissed, irritated, and frustrated all at the same time. Um, but at, I'm happy too. And um, like I said, it's, it's, uh, I, I have a major blessing coming, but I don't want to share that with you. I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, I'm not going to really talk about that for a few days. Um. So I'm 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 kind of happy. I'm happy about that because that's a major thing. But I'm at the same time I'm frustrated. I'm pissed, and I'm irritated, and I'm hurting. Um, y yesterday. No, it's not that one. Um, hold on, I'm trying to find it on my... Yeah, it's, it's, okay. It's, it's the man, the man crying about child support video. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the man... The, the video is titled Men Crying About Child Support. On that video, I said I was upset and I, I had something, but I wasn't I wasn't going to share it with you right at that time. Well, if you go back to that video, uh, that's what I was talking. I was talking about. But anyway, um, my son wrecked my car. I didn't really want to talk about it at that time because. Um, I didn't know. I was actually waiting on the. I wasn't. I wasn't about to. Uh, <laughs> he's technically not supposed to be driving my car, um, so I didn't really wasn't ready to talk about it at that time because I was waiting to see what was gonna happen. I, I, I said, "Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them call me and tell me I had an, an accident." I'm not about, I'm not about to volunteer the information to them. I'm I'm gonna let them call me about the situation to see if the other people involved in the accident was going to contact them, in which they did. My son was driving my car. Um, as you know, a while back ago, I had a truck. If you if you look back at some of my other videos, I had a truck. Well, that truck, um, that was that was a Yukon that I had, and uh, we actually made payments on that truck. And um, used Yukon. Um, well, that truck had a lot of issues. Um, it was running, but it didn't have any heat. It, and now it, it's okay to drive around with no heat in the summertime because you don't need it, right? So 
It didn't have no heat. It didn't have no defrost. So we had to get that fixed. We, we, we had to get that, and that was going to take, cost a little bit of money to get that done. And, and it was getting cold out. And um, as you know, here in Michigan, you cannot ride around without a defrost. Um, you, you just, you can't. Done, been there, done that. You're driving down the street, basically scraping the windshield. It's no fun. So, and then there was, there was no seats. And, you know, my son, make a long story short, made a deal with this guy around the corner. He was selling the truck. He told, he said, my thought was, you know, you take care of these things before you sell something, you know. Um, and, you know, particularly for the money that they sold it for. But they didn't want to, they didn't want to do the payments on the truck. They didn't want to do the payments. So my son negotiated with them and he talked them into allowing us to make the payments. Part of the condition of the agreement was we would take care of the heat problem because they was in the process of flipping the truck, but then they decided to sell it. So um, instead of taking care of those things before they decided to sell it, they decided to sell it as is. And my son, they didn't want to do the payments, but my son talked them into doing the payments. So part of the condition of that was they would we would take care of the, the heat and the defrost. And we would I didn't have any seats. If you look at some of my old my videos about mm, maybe a month or two ago, back in the summertime when I was doing videos in the truck, you would notice there was no seats in the if you if you pay attention and really pay attention, you notice that there was no seats in the truck. And if you pay attention, go back to some of those videos where I did in the truck and you'll notice there was no seats. But I had no seats in the back of the truck. They had, we, we had to install the seats. We had the seats, but they had to be installed. So that didn't, we didn't get a chance to get that done. We didn't get a chance to get the heat and everything. And my son had another car that had the heat and everything was working good in it. All We just needed to fix the um, the um, water pump, which we got that done. Everything was good in it. Um, a little small car. And I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm drawing a blank. But um, I, it, it reminds me of a sports car because it, it, it kind of, it drives like a sports car. It's really fast. and But it's not a sports car. It's, you know, I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, to make a long story short, my oldest son decided to get another car um, and he's going to do a payment thing. And so he said, well, I need it. I need a truck. I want to trade. I'm thinking about, I, I need a vehicle to trade in. So do I, you know, so he talked to, came to me and said, you want to trade in the truck or you want to trade in the car? So I thought, well, it would probably be better because everything was working in the car, the heat, the frost, everything, the music is in there. Because we, didn't, I didn't have no music in the truck. I wasn't really worried about the music. I, all, I, all I cared about was the heat and the, and the frost. I said that music can come later. But everything's in the car. The music's in the music's there. The heat, the frost, everything is working in the car. Everything. We just had to get the water pump done. We got that done. So everything was working in the car. We had to we had to still fix everything in the truck yet. So I said, well, I hate to part with the truck because the, the truck was good for hauling and things like that. But I figured we still had to get the seats done to the truck. We still had to get the defrost and everything. And then with those, um, the Yukon was like a mini version of my bourbon that I had. And so with those GMCs, for some reason, it, it's like when you turn the ignition, you have to keep priming it in order to turn it for some reason with those those suburbans those gmcs they have the, that problem something to do with the fuel pump or something like that well the bourbon had had a, a huge problem with that because i had to i had to turn the key back turn it back turn the key back turn it back turn it when it got real cold then i could crank it over that yukon had the same problem it just wasn't as bad so that was going to, we had to fix that. In time, we was going to have to take care of that. So I figured, okay, the car is, is pretty much 
Everything's in it. We don't really have to do too much to it. The truck needs more work. So I said, we're going and trade. I told my son to go ahead and trade on trade in the truck. We'll trade it. I didn't really want to part with the truck, but I said, well, go ahead and trade the truck in and we'll keep the car because it, it makes more it makes better sense to keep the car because the heat and everything was in it. Plus it was more fuel efficient, good on gas. The only problem is now we didn't we don't have anything for hauling. You know, I like to have a truck is nice for hauling things and this, you know, this case you want to haul things and move things and all that stuff like that. So I said, well, right now, financially, uh, it, it makes better sense to go ahead and keep the car. So he traded the truck in. So I had, I had, I had the car. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy as a lark because I got a vehicle that's got my heat. The heat's good in it. You know, the defrost, everything is working good in it. I got my music. I'm good because one of my favorite things to do is to drive and listen to music. I don't know about you guys, but that's one of my favorite things in life to do is to drive and listen to my music. I like to drive, listen to my music, and sing. Okay? Now, when I had the truck, I didn't have no music, so I had to sing. Because, <laughs> like I said, I love to sing. So, that's one of my favorite things to do. I love to to listen to music and drive and sing. I love that. One of my favorite things in life. So I say I got my music, I got my heat, I got my defrost. I'm good. This is beautiful. The car gets on down the road. We had to fix the water pump. We took care of that. Okay, the car gets on down the road. It runs good. We're good. I'm good. You know, I'm good. You know, good engine in it. Good strong engine. You know, it, 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 I mean, it, it's, it runs like a little sports car. My son's driving the car, and um, he, you know, sometimes people can believe in your blind spot. You go to make a turn, and there was a truck there, and um, there was a car behind the truck, and he didn't see the car. It was like a blind spot. And my thing, when I'm driving, when I'm driving, I, if I can't, if I don't get a clear view, if I don't have a clear view, if, if it's a situation like that where there's another vehicle, I don't know what's going on behind that vehicle, I don't move. The car behind me may be frustrated with me. I don't care. I do not move. If I cannot, if I don't know what's going on behind that vehicle, I don't move. I don't go anywhere until I got a clear view of what's going on before I make a turn. That's me, okay? My son, he's young, you know, full of piss and vinegar. Um, he's at the age where you can't tell him nothing. And so I kept trying to tell him, man, you ain't, you're not on my insurance. Please be careful driving the car. Please. Don't be on your phone or whatever the situation was. I don't think he was on his phone, but I don't know. I wasn't there. So like I said, he had a blind spot. He didn't see around the truck. Instead of him staying put until he got a clear view and could see what was everything that was going on, he pulls out there. And then he pulled out there, and then the other car came from around the truck and, and hit him on the driver's side. Banged in the, the driver's side. The front of the car is fine. Banged in the driver's side door and the passenger door. So now I can't, we can't get, I can't open the door. When I, every time I get in the car, I have to go on the other side. I mean, the car is still running. I'm like, oh, thank God. It could have been worse. The car is still running. My son was okay. He came out and that was the important thing. I said, are you okay? You know, the important thing is that he was okay. I said, how's the other people? Are the other people okay? So, I mean, that's that was kind of like the first thing after he got Task telling me what the why he had the accident. I said, "Are you okay? Did you get hurt?" He said, "No." Um, I said, "How about the other people? Are they okay?" He said, "They're okay." Because he said it was an older couple, but it kind of makes me wondering how fast was these people really going? Because I'm like, these people had to be going really fast. Because it he said it happened on the side street. I don't know, you know, and. But it was, it was, they hit him, but it was his fault because he pulled out there. 
And so it hit my driver's side door and it hit the passenger door, banged it in, banged it in. By the grace of God, we can still drive the car. The car is still running. It's still running like the accident never happened. It, this, the alignment is off a little bit because the, the front of the car, the engine or nothing like that was affected. It hit, it, 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 the main parts it affected was the driver's door and the passenger door. That's all banged in. So needless to say, and it cracked my windshield, but it didn't, but it didn't bust the windows. Go figure. As I said, I said to my son the other day, I said, that's really strange. I said how they can do this much damage and then, and, and bang these doors up as bad as they did, but it didn't bust the windows. So I don't understand that. I don't understand why the windows didn't bust, but the windows didn't break. And the, the front part of the car is fine. The other side of the car is fine. The only thing is, is, is messed, the driver's door and the passenger door is banged in. So every time we get into the car, we got to go in the passenger side of the car. And we got to climb over the middle console and everything. I think I'm getting used to it. And then I can't, I can't push the seat up. So I have to kind of scoot up to drive the car because I can't push the seat up because the, because of the door and everything is so banged in. You can't, it, it, my son had the seat back. You know how these, these young men like to drive the car with the seat all back. And plus he's tall. He's tall. So the, the, the seat is kind of stuck in that position because that's the position it was in at the time of the accident. So I can't move the seat up. So when I sit way back, I can't reach the pedal. So I have to kind of scooch up. I have to kind of scoot up to drive the car. I'm not on the edge of the seat, but I have to scoot up. So right now, it's, it's, the, the car still runs good. And I say, well, it could have been worse. The car could have been totaled and I would have no car. But I, I think by the grace of God, the car is still running. It, it still runs good. It, it didn't affect, because I said that the front of the car didn't get hit at all. The, the airbags didn't deploy or anything like that. It's just those two doors are banged up. And then my um, windshield is, is, is cracked. So right now, it's just a major, it's just an inconvenience issue. It's, it's an inconvenience issue that I have to, I, I, I can't go through a drive through When I go to my bank, I have to get out of the car. I can't go through the drive through at the bank. I can't go to, if I go to a restaurant, I can't go through the drive through I have to freaking get out of the car to climb over the middle console and get go out of the passenger side to go in to get my food or whatever. And it's very, very irritating. And I'm really pissed because... I kept telling my son, I said, please be careful. You are not on my insurance. Well, the insurance company called and I and they wanted to know all the details and everything. And I, I said, I don't know because I wasn't there. I'm only going by what he told me. So they needed to talk to him. And I had only just the basic coverage on the car. So um, just before the accident happened, I was thinking about getting uh not full coverage, but the one in the middle. I can't think of it right now. Uh, the, not the full coverage, but the one in the middle I was going to get. Comprehensive. That's what it is. Comprehensive. I was going to get comprehensive. I was just thinking about that just before the accident happened. So maybe I should get comprehensive coverage on the car. So in case something happened, I can get it taken care of. Well, I just had the basic insurance. So... They, they, thank God. They, I, I told them, I said, if they don't, if they don't cover the, the people, if they don't cover the the, guard, the the damage to the people's car, they can come back and sue me. And I said, I'm, I'm not paying it because I didn't have the accident. So by the grace of God, the insurance company is going to pay for their to take care of their vehicle. But my, mine's, I already knew they weren't going to take care of mine. But now my rates are going to go up. So I'm really, really upset because I'm like, okay, I'm a good driver. I'm a good driver. I haven't had an accident since 95. I'll tell that story another time. 
I haven't had an accident since 95. I'm a pretty good driver. I'm a very cautious driver. I don't talk on my phone while I'm driving. I'm very focused on the road. Um, I'm a very good driver. Um, my insurance rates were, were pretty good because I'm older and I'm a good driver. Now my rates are going to go up because he had this accident. So I got to go into my insurance company and, and, and sit down and try to negotiate with them to try to get the rates down because I'm you got to they got to remember the fact that I'm still a good driver. My ton, my my, uh, uh, my son, my son technically was not supposed to be driving the car because he wasn't on my insurance. And so that's probably what they're going to get me for. So. Um, I'm just really pissed. And I, I told my son, man, you don't listen. You don't listen. I kept telling you over and over to be careful when you're driving my vehicle or in yours too. I kept telling you to be careful. Please be careful. Because you know how these young people is, especially these young men, they full of piss and vinegar. And, and see my son right now, he's going through a phase where he doesn't listen to me. I be trying to tell him stuff. It goes to one ear and out the other. I think now he's, I, and I, I said, I thought last week, I said, well, maybe in a sense, this was a good thing it happened because now he's being more cautious and he's being more conscious and he's paying more attention when he drives because these young people don't think that nothing can happen. They don't think anything can happen to him. They don't think anything could, and he, and, and then as a result, they're, they're not cautious. They don't take the proper precautions. Because they don't think that anything bad is ever going to happen. And so he's in that mindset. And I probably shouldn't have been letting him drive. But it was things that he had to do. And I didn't want to get in the car and take be jumping in the car every time you had to turn around. He was job hunting and things like that. So um, not doing the extra stuff that he was doing. Okay, I didn't have to let him drive for that. Uh, sometimes I have an issue with saying no. Major issue for me. It bites me in the butt every time. So, I think at the time he was uh, looking for jobs when that happened. So, I let him drive because I know he was looking for a job and everything. And his car, he does have a car, but it needs work done to it. Uh, it needs brakes or something. He's not able to get them done right now. So, needless to say, he said, well, mom, I'm going to I'm gonna try to get you another car. Um uh, I've been praying about the situation because I've been contemplating on trading the car in and just go ahead and just break down and make car payments. So I don't know. That's going to be extra expense. I'm trying to decide on whether I can even afford that. I don't know, you know, um, because I, I just I don't I still don't know if I can comfortably afford car payments, you know, so. I'm just at this point, I'm just kind of praying about the situation. Um, but you know, the, the good news is that the car is still drivable. Uh, it still runs like it, it, it did before. It, the only thing, the alignment is off a little bit, but that, you know, that's minor. Um, but the car still runs. It still runs good. It still gets down the road. But it's just, it's, it's now, it's just, it's just an inconvenience issue. It's just, it's, a, that's mainly what it is. It's an inconvenience issue. It's, I got to get in on the passenger side and then crawl over the middle console because there's the middle the middle console and then in front of that is the uh, the thing where you you know the shifter the shifter is in front of that so I have to climb over that to get into the the seat which I cannot pull up because it's locked into that position my son had it in he can drive it good he can drive it real good because it's locked into that position and then I can't even put the safety belt I can't put the safety belt all the way around me because the safety belt the son my, my son can put it on him but the, uh, once again the safety belt got locked into that position because when an accident happened it pushed it it pushed in not the not only the doors but it that middle piece where the um, the seat belt and stuff was at. So I'm I'm just irritated. I'm at, I'm irritated, pissed, 
I was gonna completely lose it and go off on him, but I that I said that that don't make no it don't make no sense to do that. It's it's a done deal, you know. It was an accident, you know. But the problem with my son is he doesn't listen. I kept telling him over and over. I said, the situation in the future, the situation like that comes up. If you don't have a clear view and, and you know there's something like that, a truck or whatever, and you can't see around that truck, I wouldn't make no moves until I could get a clear view. I don't make a move. I don't care if the car behind me gets upset or not. I am not going to make a move until I, I know I'm confident. If I'm not confident, and making a turn, and I know there's a car there, a truck there, and I can't see behind it, and I'm not feeling confident, then I'm not finna pull out there. Okay, that's me when I drive. Okay, so I'm re I'm really pissed because of the fact that my rates are probably gonna grow up, uh, uh, go up, and it's not my fault. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't driving a car. You know, I have a good driving record. Why I got to pay for something that my son did? Why, am I, why I have to suffer? But, you know, in their mind, they say, well, he technically should have been driving a car. So, like I said, I got to go down to the insurance company and I got to try to negotiate with them and all that kind of stuff. Talk to them, whatever. <sighs> this is nothing like this has ever happened before. So, I'm just really upset about that. And then another thing, yesterday, I fell. I had a fall yesterday. I went to sleep. I fell asleep in my chair. I got up. My leg apparently fell asleep in the chair, and I didn't know it. My leg fell asleep in the chair. I got up. And next thing you know, I'm on the floor. And I hit the floor hard because, you know, I, I was already kind of, I was just waking up. So I was a little half sleep, just waking up. I had just woke up out of the chair. So I got up. When I got up, next thing you know, bam, I hit the floor flat on my face. My glasses flew off and everything. Thank God they didn't break. I had a bowl on the table that winded up on the floor. <laughs> Needless to say, I think I twisted my ankle or a little bit. I almost, I, I, it was nobody home, so I almost couldn't get up, you know? I fall in and I can't get up. So for a minute there, I couldn't get up. But thank God I was in the gym the other day and I was doing some upper body exercises. So I was kind of been strengthening my upper body. So I was able to push myself up. Then when I got up, at, 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 at my age, when you fall, you don't really know how much damage you did until later on. Then that them aches and pains from the fall start creeping in. My ankle started hurting me real bad, and I started limping. And, I, you know, I, I came in my room and I laid down. And it was just before I had to go to work. So I propped my leg up. I always sleep with two pillows. I always sleep with three pillows and I always prop my leg up on it. So I prop my leg up, lay down. Uh, I had an hour or so, an hour and a half before, or a couple hours before I had to be at work uh, or about an hour and 45 minutes or whatever before I had to be at work. So I lay down and prop my leg, legs up on my pillows. And then when I got up, I was hurting so bad, you know, and, and the side of my left arm is hurting for some reason. So my ankle was hurting really bad and I was limping and stuff like that. So I said, I know they ain't going to let me call in. So when I went to work, um, I asked the, well, she was, she, she was the manager, but she's not the manager anymore, but she was, but she was management. And I, I asked her, I said, well, I said, is there any way I can get, you can get somebody to come in and work half the shift for me? You know, um, you can get somebody to come in at three o'clock. So I can go home early, you know, because my, my ankles, I explained to her what happened and everything. She said, oh, she said, I don't know. Man. They, they have 50 million excuses why they can't let me go home. Well, I don't know if like, we can get somebody in here and, you know, we're already short. Well, they weren't short staff today or that yet last night, but 
the, 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 the thing that bothers me, I'm not bashing my job, but the thing that, that irritates me about, I don't like having a job that I cannot call in when I have an emergency. I have, because when we, 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 they give us a list of all the employees' phone numbers and we have to, first of all, find our own replacement. When we need to call in, we have to find our own replacement. I, I don't like that. And then, um, second of all, you know, I tried to call in once before. I'm the type of person I don't call in unless I really have to. And I tried to call in once before and they made 50 million excuses and said, well, I don't, we don't know if we can, you know. So I had to break down and come to work. Because I think I had a bad cold or something like that. And so I, I just, I winded up having to work the whole shift. I, I was limping. You know, and, and my job, like I said, my job is, is pretty easy. You know, it's pretty laid back. Um, you know, I, I work, like I said, there's, there's assistant living downstairs, the AFC home where upstairs where I work. It's pretty laid back and everything. So I just kind of paced myself throughout the night. I sat down and I propped my foot up. But I was hurting. I was hurting. I had much, much, would have much rather have been at home. I said, if you could get somebody at 3 o'clock in here, you know, to work half of the shift for me. And she's like, oh, you know, this and that and the other. We're going to have a hard time. We're already short staff. And da, 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 da. So I wind up working the whole shift. And she thanked me at the end of the shift. She's like, well, thank you for staying. And, but it, it just, I just irritated. It just irritates me that I, I, I don't like jobs where you cannot call in. We, we, I have an emergency. I don't call in. And, and then the, some of the young, the young people... The new ones starting off, they they always blowing up the phone calling in. But then when I when I need to call in, they go, oh, they got fifty million excuses. You know, so I, I I just not bashing my job, but I just it just irritates me. I'm just irritated. Because I don't like not being able to call off when I need to. I'm I'm I type of person I have a pretty good attendance at work. I don't call in unless I absolutely have to. Okay, if I've, I'll, I'll work sick if if I can. I'll sometimes you know if I have a little cold, I'll bring my little medicine in with me, or whatever what I need, you know, to get me through the night or whatever. And I've done that on other jobs as well. But um, I don't know. I just. It just irritates me. And I haven't really been so sick to the point to where I couldn't get out of bed. You know. But, um. I just, I don't, I don't like, I just don't like having a job where I cannot call in. I don't like it. And my thought is, okay, well. If you fired me, you would have somebody in here like that. They get rid of me, they'd have somebody in there right like that. They would place me in a heartbeat if, if they fired me. I'd be replaced that same day. But then when you want to take off work, they got 50 million excuses and act like they can't do without you. <laughs> it's amazing. They're not the only ones. All these jobs are like that. And so I'm just irritated. It just irritates me. You know, to, I, I'm just not bashing my job, but it just irritates me when I can't go home or call in when I need to. I said, I'm a pretty good. I have pretty good, I have impeccable, my attendance is impeccable. It's impeccable. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my work record anyway. And so my attendance is impeccable. Okay. So when I really do need to call in, I, I really would like to, to, to go ahead and take that, that day off. Because you know that I'm not going to just be calling in just to be calling in. I, I told her, I told her, I told her, I told her that. The manager that when I interviewed, oh, that's the TV. when I interviewed for the job, I, I told her, I said, well, I don't call in unless I have to. Because she was telling me about the first 90 days or the first 30 days. She said, well, if you call in more than two times in the thir first 30 days, um, you know, don't call in more than two times in the first 30 days or you're going to be out of here. And she didn't say it like that, but in so many words. I said, well, no, I don't call in unless I have to. And I caught a cold within that first uh, 30 days. I think I caught a cold. <laughs> but I brought my little cold, man. And I, I wasn't feeling good. I really wasn't feeling good. But I brought my little medicine in and everything. And I came on and, to work and toughed it out. You know? 
I, I just, I really wish I was self-employed. I just, I just, I, I need some YouTube coin. <laughs> I really wish I was making some YouTube coins. <laughs> I want to be a full-time YouTuber when I grow up. <laughs> I tell you, these, these full-time YouTubers, they blessed. They don't know how good they got it. Because if you're a full-time YouTuber, you get sick or something happens, you, you can just chill out. You, can, you, you Okay, you can take a day or two off. You know, No problem. Are you punching the time clock? It's a whole different ball game. When you're doing your own thing, it's, you know, okay, YouTube, YouTubers... That can, that have the 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 blessing and the luxury to be able to do this thing full time. You don't know how good you got it. You blessed. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll get there. I don't know. I maybe it would be nice. It would be really nice. I mean, I really wish I had it like that, you know, or had some type of job where I can do it at home, and if I need to take a little load off, I can, or have my own business. Still trying to figure that thing out. Okay, I'm just I'm this was a random rant video. I had to let you guys know what was going on because if you look back at that video, the father's the child support video, where I'm, I'm talking about fathers uh uh crying about paying child support. I, I I mentioned in that video I was pissed. I was upset. That was what I was upset about. I was upset about the accident. I didn't want to talk about it at that point because I didn't know what was up with the insurance company and everything and whatever. So that's why I didn't want to talk about it at that point. But I told you guys that I was going to update you and let you know what was up. So that, that was why I was upset. So needless to say, um, like I said, I got a blessing, major blessing coming up. So every time I think about that, I get happy again. So um, I'm not ready to tell you guys yet about that. Um, but when that's when that's said and done, I'll let you know what's up. This is it's a major, major, major blessing. So I will keep you guys posted on that. I'm not ready to tell you guys yet, but when that happens, you're gonna hear about it. Do I'm gonna title the video and everything. So just wanted to let you guys know what was up. You know, this different ranges and the winter time is coming up and I'm I feeling a little bit of depression coming on because I get really really depressed in the winter time and of course I was depressed in the summer but that was different <laughs> so I was depressed for different reasons in the summer so uh, so now I'm, I'm getting the winter blues the winter blues is starting to creep up on me Plus, my body is starting to ache because of the cold weather and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm not. <sighs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with some stuff. So, hit me up in the comment section. What is your rant? Let me know what your rant is. Are you, what, are you upset about something? Did something bad happen? Or are you frustrated? Or are you irritated? Or your husband getting on your nerves? Your boyfriend getting on your nerves? Your kids getting on your nerves? Whatever. I don't care what it is. Let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. What's your rant? What's your random rant? Let's rant together. <laughs> I don't do live streams, streams because I don't get a good turnout. Every time I do a live stream, I don't get a good turnout for some reason. So... I, I, and I'll be doing one again at some point. And I'll probably let you guys know ahead of time. I, mean, I, I figure maybe if I let you guys know ahead of time when I'm coming on, then maybe I'll get a better turnout. I'll kind of make an appointment with you. So maybe I'll do it that way the next time. But hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what your rant is. What you're upset about. You know, your husband getting on your nerves. Your kids getting on your nerves. Your wife getting on your nerves. Your job getting on your nerves. What's, what's your rant? Everybody got something to rant about. Not complaining, just a little frustrated. We're all human, right? Hit me up in that comment section. Okay, I got to go grab me something to eat and get ready for work. 
Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so every time I do a video, you will be notified. Uh, current subscri subscribers, I need you to start watching my videos more. New subscribers, thank you so much. Um, stay tuned. I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Peace and love. This is Sweet Jeans.